Hey, how are we all? Today I wanted to do a review of the Audio Technica ATH AG1X, which is a really good name and it really rolls off the tongue just straight off the bat. Uh, my first impressions, I'll get out of the way. Um, I don't like these headphones. Um, they're, it's, it's as if Audio Technica took a $200 set of headphones and doubled the price and then half the quality. So you've got a $400 pair of headphones uh, at about the quality level you'd expect at a $100 pair of headphones plus whatever these things are. You know, just a rundown, I've got 53 mil drivers in there which is quite large. They're very big, They're very big on the head. Yeah, how much do they weigh? They weigh 320 grams. Um, it's got a condenser mic attached. The cable length is 1.2 meters which is a really good length because it comes with an extender if you need more um, but I don't so I appreciate that I appreciate the option of not having to do that the microphone is horrible and I'll give you an example of like a comparison so these things these little flappy panels so instead of having a band across here like uh, I guess most headphones um, they have these little flappy panels, which kind of rest on the side of your head. Um, it makes it extremely comfortable. You can do a really long session in these, if you will. However, this isn't taut enough. So after a while, it slips down and kind of rests on your earlobes. Um, maybe it's because I have a big head. Actually, that would make it less... Yeah, don't know. Um, really good. Yeah, they're really comfortable, but you do keep finding yourself kind of pushing it up a bit, and then yeah, um, the microphone pops out of the way quite easily, which is nice. The volume control on this thing, you could expect to find on a three dollar children's microphone. It's absolutely horrible quality. Like past halfway, it does nothing. It's just off past halfway. Then the other half, it's like really super sensitive and it just feels like it was made in a sweatshop that makes clothes not even electronics so um not impressed with that also the mute function so there i don't know if you can see that actually but it says mute on or off and there's no like kind of green or red thing so it's either like when i first got it i was like well is the mute on or is the microphone on if it says on like, I'm not sure. I'm a bit stupid, so that doesn't help. But um, I like uh, some headphones that have a green thing. It's made, Well, if it's green, the microphone's obviously on. And if it's red, the microphone's obviously, obviously off. So this is just like on, off, mute. Don't know which one that is. The cable quality feels pretty average. It's a bit thicker than usual. The tension relief here is not what you'd expect on a $400 set of headphones. These headphones cost recommended retail price in Australia on Audio Technica, Technica's website, $399 plus shipping, which is ridiculous because they're not that good. Um, but yeah, tension relief here, it's average, like you'd expect that on a $100 set of headphones. Over here, also average, like it's going to break there if, it's break, if it breaks anywhere. The cable's not removable or replaceable. So when these things break, which they will, it will be the cable. Um, and then you're out $400 and there's nothing you can do unless you are handy with a solder, uh, with solder. For the 53 millimeter drivers that they have in these things, which are large, you'd expect really good bass. Um, the bass is terrible. There's, it's almost non-existent. Um, the sound sounds quite trebly. Like if you listen to music, it's like, oh, that's not that great. These AKG K92 headphones outperform the audio quality immensely in every single aspect. Um, 90 bucks. Yeah, so I'll show you a comparison of the this microphone versus an actual microphone. Um, this one's pathetic. So this is the sound quality of a $90 10-year-old Behringer B1 condenser mic. Um, I've dropped it a lot and it's actually pretty good. And this is the sound of the $400 condenser microphone um, on these gaming headphones. It's a bit of a difference, but um, 
Yeah, I'll let you be the judge. Ultimately, $400 headphone, you might as well buy a $100 headphone and a $90 microphone and you'd be much better off. Um, unfortunately, if you're playing like console, that's not, it's improbable for you to do. But um, yeah, $400, it seems like they're just taking advantage of a niche market, the gaming kind of accessories market, and they haven't done very well. So, bad. Hope you enjoyed. Um, let me know if there's any other thing you'd like me to review, and I'll see what I can do. See you later.